All right, guys, thanks for hopping on tonight. I know nighttime, like I said a couple times, nighttime calls are tough. Um, they're tough for me too. I'm usually checked out by nighttime, but I wanted to have a time that I could get all of you guys on instead of doing it in the middle of the day so we could talk about Achieving Success Club together, okay? Now, many of you guys are brand new. I see Michelle and I saw Morgan on here as well and Kara, and a lot of these terms are gonna be very foreign to you at first. You know, I see even um, Christina, who's only been a coach for a month or two, and they're probably still foreign to her, but what matters the most, you guys, with all of this is that you wanna focus on helping three people every single month, okay? So as of this month, October, Okay, so it's October 2018, it's October 15th, 2018. You wanna make it your goal to help at least three people sign up just like you did every single month, okay? So I'm looking at every single person and majority of you guys signed up either with Shakeology Home Direct or a challenge pack when you first signed up. Whether you were a challenger first and then decided to sign up as a coach, hey Jamie, or if you were a, um, customer who came in as a coach with a challenge pack at the same time, majority of you guys are, you know, you came in that way and you want to help people get started that way because I can speak with very, very strong belief in this business. You guys, after being a coach for nine years, if you want to have the best results, okay, you have to be focusing on nutrition. You've got to be focusing on your workouts and you've got to be focusing on um, having accountability. And with a challenge pack, that bundles everything up together. Uh, if you're drinking Shifology Home Direct or if you're drinking the recovery performance line, that's still the nutrition side of it, you guys. Or if you're doing beach bars, some of you guys are not huge fans of Shakeology, but you love beach bars. That's okay, okay? You're not gonna love everything um, nutrition-wise that Beachbody has. Unfortunately, I can't drink the recovery because there's way in it, um, but I drink everything else, okay? So you're gonna find what works for you, but it gives you the best bang for your buck results-wise and money-wise, okay? Now let's talk about the benefits of hitting success club real quick, okay? So benefits, okay? Um, you're all in this to help people, okay? We're all in this business to help people. Every time I ask people to give me a why for the business, majority of people say, I just wanna help people. And instead of shying away from that and looking for bigger reasons, I want you to remember that. You want to help people, okay? So in order to help people, we have to have people to help, right? And the way to get people to help is to run challenge groups and have people join your challenge groups, correct? We all know that, right? And you're like, I know that, Meg, but how? Okay, I'll help you, th help you with that in a second, okay? Um, and like I said, those are the best tools available to get people long-lasting results because when they have Beachbody On Demand and they have it for a full year, a lot of you guys have seen, you can hop from Clean Week to 21 Day Fix to Lift 4 to um, a little more obsessed. Like you can go through all the different programs for an entire year so you never have to follow up with your journey, right? You also would have access to your coach for a whole year. How cool is that, you guys? Uh, my customers love that. They love that they're able to stay in my groups month to month because they do stay on their journey. And if they have to take a month off, they do. And they hop back in, okay? That's pretty cool that people have a chance to do that okay now the simplest way to grow your business from month to month organically you guys is focusing on helping three people we overcomplicate this okay how many of you guys have probably looked at that goal of helping three people and you're like there's no way that I can help three people yes you can you guys yes you can I want to tell you guys a little story so I have been a coach since 2009 Okay, and I remember the first time I heard about Success Club was two years into the business, you guys. Two years into the business, and back then you could only sell a Shakeology Home Direct, I think. We didn't have challenge packs yet. And I heard all of these people talking about how their income was growing organically, and it made my head explode because I was like, wait a second, I am not even focusing on that at all. Um, I was struggling to keep people going and having customers stay on month to month to month and see my income increase. So I made that commitment, it was October of 2011, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna hit Success Club and help three people every single month from this point on. And guess what? It's been since October 2011 that I've helped at least three people every single month. That's a lot of months, I can't add them all up, but I know they're a lot, okay? And I've seen my income increase. And as you get comfortable helping three people, then you'll go for five, then you'll go for 10, then who knows, maybe you'll go for 20 some month. It's possible, you guys. Now let's talk about it income-wise. 
Okay, so if you have three people purchase, you guys, um, some of you guys understand this, others are going to be like, what did she just say? The All Access Challenge Pack is the $100, $160 Challenge Pack, okay, so that gives them access to Beachbody On Demand and Shakeology Home Direct for 30 days. So they get Beachbody On Demand for a year and Shakeology Home Direct for 30 days or the performance line. Okay, for 30 days. Now that's $160, you guys. As coaches, we get 25% commission on those kind of challenge backs, okay? So that is what, $40, I think, $30 or $40. Um, if you sell 40, it'd be $40. If you sell three of those, that's $120, you guys, $120 of commission. So that would cover if you're drinking Shakeology, um, your month of the website, and you have some extra cash. Now, many of you guys have messaged me and said, I want to walk away from my full-time job. Like, I want to replace my full-time job with this business, which is possible, you guys. You just have to put more time and effort into it, right? So if we're helping three people, and that's $120, think about if you did five people, okay? That's, two, what, $200 um, in commission? That's $200 in your pocket, you guys. So once you cross off Shakeology and everything, that's like, what, another $80, $90 that you have a commission, okay? That adds up over the months, you guys. Now, say that you keep those people on Shakeology Home Direct, okay? And you have three people who sign up with you in October, and then they get their shakes again in November. That's another, um, what, $120 in your pocket, okay? On top of three more people that you would help, okay? So say you help three new people in November and three previous people from October in November, God, that's when math is getting over my head, <laughs> but you guys know that's what, $240 right there? And it just keeps increasing. Don't overcomplicate it, you guys. Um, just focus on helping three people, okay? I want every single person to write down on a piece of paper, I will help three people, okay? Because there's power in affirmations, you guys. There's power in writing out what you're going to do. Don't say, I might help three people this month. I'm going to help three people get started on their health journey this month. I write those every single morning, guys. You would like die if you looked at my office because I have I have horrible handwriting. I think Jamie's probably seen it before. Um, but I have like chicken scraps all over the place of me writing out these positive affirmations of what I'm going to do in a month. So make that one of your positive affirmations. I'm going to help three people this month. Okay, because there's no reason why you can't. I'm looking at the faces that are on here right now. You can do that, okay? The only reason that you can't do it is if you tell yourself you're not going to. And how many of you guys are holding yourself back by telling yourself you can't? Okay, yes, yes. So that's my first tip for you guys um, is that you have to believe in yourself, okay? You have to believe that you're worthy of succeeding in this business, okay, and that you can succeed. Um, you know, for those of you that know me, I see Christina, we went to college together, and you guys, I'm just a normal person, okay? You guys see me as Beach Body Meg, um, but I'm a normal person who decided that I deserved to succeed, okay? So you have to make that belief in yourself and say, I deserve this. I freaking deserve this. You know, I have pictures of my daughter and my husband in my office. Actually, it's a real freaking cute picture, my little baby. Um, but I have them in my office, you guys, so that when I get caught up in my head, and I want you guys to do this as well, I look at those pictures and I say, you know what? If I don't, if I'm not going to do it for myself, I'm going to do it for them. Because Telly deserves for mommy to be more present and with her. Telly deserves this or that. Kirk deserves this or that. Okay, and then I put my head down and I get to work, okay, because I have those days where I don't want to be there, you guys. So believe in yourself, okay? You have a good heart. You have a team behind you, okay? You have the top fitness um, professionals or trainers, as well as the accountability, the support, the best nutrition supplements, you guys, on the market. Okay, and you have to fully believe that in your heart in order to make this succeed. Okay, and a lot of you guys, you know, I've seen your results on Facebook. You guys are doing amazing jobs with your results. I see Kristen who you lost like what seven pounds your first week with Lift Four. She's like, don't call me out. That's amazing though, you guys. That's what it's about. And you have this beautiful gift that you can wrap in a pretty bow and give to people. Okay, we don't have to shove it down their throats. Our jabs, and this will make you take a deep breath, you guys, and I'll move on to tip number two. Um, your job as a health coach is not to ever have to convince someone to do this with you. Okay, you don't have to turn into that salesy, icky person. Okay, yay. Your job is not to convince people. Okay, your job is to show other people that this is out there for them. Because how many of your friends and family are doing fads? We could probably all raise our hands, right? Like we're like, yep, 
yep, there's a lot of people around me that are maybe ignoring me right now that are doing fads and diets. Guess what? Come New Year's, they're going to be like focused in on you because you're going to crush October, November, and December with your results, right? Even with enjoying the holidays, you're going to be sharing with people what eating healthy and working out can do for you because that's the end all be all, okay? Number two, you guys, make a list, okay? Now, <laughs> you guys are going to make so many lists in your business, okay? As a brand new coach or nine years down the road, you guys, I'm still making lists. Lists are going to be your lifesaver because as you're talking to so many people, hopefully, throughout the day, throughout the week, you can't keep those in your head, okay? Like, I would love to say that I was Wonder Woman and I remember every single person uh, their name and their Instagram screen name, and I can connect it with their Facebook. I can't do that, okay? So I make lists and I say, okay, who are the people that I need to help or that has a have asked me questions about nutrition or are commenting on my stuff that I can invite to this, okay? So let's make a list of 30 people, and I want you guys to do this tonight, okay? Yes night before you go to bed. Do not leave wherever you're watching this until you have a list of 30 people, okay? Not to stress you out, but I know the minute that you walk away from whatever we're doing, don't do it right now, okay? But when I walk, when you walk away from being in here, you're going to forget about it, okay? Or you're going to say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Or you'll say, whatever, okay? We come up with excuses. Sit down and do it. Okay, so on this list, I want you to think of family. Okay, who are those aunts, uncles that maybe you've been too scared to ask? Or you asked last month and they weren't interested. Or you asked three months ago and they were about to go on vacation. Okay, or I'm thinking of Christina that has friends who just ran a marathon, you know, and you're like, oh, what's the good timing for that? You have those names on there. Okay, so family, friends, um, coworkers. Okay, uh, people who said no to you in the past, if you've been a coach for a couple months, we all get no's, you guys. Those people always go up on my follow-up follow -up list, okay? And I can tell you probably majority of my success club points come from people the previous months who said no to me, okay? Was that a game changer for you guys to hear that? They're not new conversations. They're people who I'm following up with who said no in you know July or August and are like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm finally ready. I see that you're still on this fitness thing. Like you're serious about it and you're still continuing on and you have results and I don't, so let's go. Okay, it takes them a couple months, you guys. That's okay, okay, it took me a while. I'm sure it took a lot of you guys a while. Give people that time, okay? Don't get discouraged. So people who said no, their names should be on that list. Um, people who like, comment on the majority of your Facebook and Instagram posts, they're my Facebook stalkers, right? In a good way. Facebook stalkers and lurkers is what I call them. Those are people who are taking the time to watch what you're doing. Okay, they're interested, but they might be a little nervous, right? Because they've probably been sold to before, or they've tried every fad diet under the plant or under the, what do they say? What's that saying? Under the table or whatever. And they are frustrated and they don't want to go through that again. Okay. Those people should be on your list. People who are constantly, not constantly, but often watching your Instagram stories. Who are those people? Okay. Now the last one are people who are, you're too scared to invite. Okay. We all have those people. I'll tell you guys a funny story. Um, so I've been a coach for nine years. Okay. And I have two of my best friends who had never bought anything from me. Okay. Like they were my best friends in college and I was always too scared to ask them about it. And then as soon as clean week came out, I invited both of them and they were so excited to do it. They were waiting for me to ask them and I was too terrified to ask them. My best friends, you guys, that had watched me for eight years. Okay. So even eight, nine years into the business, you guys, I get scared to invite people too. Okay. Put those people's names. I call them like your, your chicken list. Okay. Put those na people's names on your list. Okay. So you'll have to come up with 30 people. Now, the reason that I say 30 people, you guys, is that we all know that it's a numbers game. Okay. That if you talk to 10 to 15 people, you're going to have one or two say yes. Don't get frustrated with that. That's like, that's so normal, you guys. Hopefully you guys all saw that I put up um, that whole thing in the new and improved group about follow-ups. Okay, so when people say no, they go on your follow-up list, like I said, and after a couple follow-ups, that's when they say yes, okay? So don't get frustrated, okay? One to two out of 10 to 15 will say yes. That's why I want you to start out with 30 people, because 
hopefully you'll have one to two to hopefully three out of those 30 people who will say yes, okay? Now, the other part of this, you guys, is everyone who says no, I want you to give them the option of clean week, okay? So this is different than what majority of you guys do. So if they say no to a normal challenge group with you, I want you to give them the option to do clean week. Clean week, you can get um, seven Shakeology samples, you can get the week of uh, clean week workouts, which people can repeat as many times as they want. They're actually really fun, as well as a meal plan from clean week that gives them a couple different recipes for each meal. So it's like they could repeat that meal plan several times and have different recipes. Okay, so you're still having a customer, you guys. You're still having someone you can help. Yes, we want to focus on the challenge pack, but if it's someone who you can help and maybe can't afford that quite yet, getting them started with clean week is going to help them get results. Okay, it's going to help them believe in you. But it's also going to set them up for maybe November, December, or January, purchasing a challenge pack to get the other programs from you. And because they love Shakeology so much, so much, they're going to want to continue on that. Okay, make sense? Yeah, don't let people slip through the cracks. Um, number two, start inviting you guys. Okay, so as soon as you have that list, okay, and some of you guys have done this because you just got started, and I told you to send this message, and you're already saying the app, so awesome, okay, but I have a new message that I want people to send out as brand new coaches, okay, or if you're, you've been a coach for a while, you can use this message as well, just tweak it a little bit, okay, so the message is either sent through a text message, through Facebook message, or through an Instagram message, okay, now if it's someone who you personally know, text them, Okay, that's a little more personal. Text them, okay? Um, but the message, and I'll copy this in the little chat thread so you guys can grab it after, is it says, hey, you know, say I'm talking to Sarah. Hey, Sarah, I just signed up because look at these results. Oh, man, my iPhone thing is talking to myself. Has that ever happened to you guys? <laughs> like it was typing out on my phone. I'm sorry. Okay, so hey, Sarah, um, I just signed up because look at these results. And you're going to post either your results okay, or um, your coach's results, or you can use my results, or you can use, if you type in test group um, lift four, test group to be mindset, test group, whatever program you're doing right now into Google, you can find before and afters from customers as well as coaches that have put their results out there so you can share those, okay? So I would send, send a, um, a before and after that speaks to you, okay, and just say, hey, you know, I signed up because look at these results, okay? And send a picture of the results and say, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm super excited. Would you want to do this with me and we can hold each other accountable to our health goals during the holidays, okay? Just that simple, you guys. Don't overthink the, the wording. Just do it, okay? Now, many of you guys get that. Um, I'm going to put that over there if it lets me copy. A lot of you guys have that fear of sending that first initial message, something that will help you, okay? If you have not read the, the book, The Five Second Rule, you need to, okay? Because if we can distract our brain when we're trying to talk ourselves out of doing something, you'll actually do it, okay? So something that I do when I'm messaging people off my chicken list, because I still get nervous, is I say, okay, five, four, three, two, one, and then I send it. Okay, so before your brain has a chance to talk yourself out of it, say five, four, three, two, one, send it, and you can walk away. You know, it's like posting your first um, challenge group invite on Facebook. I remember I walked away. I closed my computer. I got nervous, and I walked away. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done that as well, and then you get more confident. But anytime you catch yourself trying to talk yourself out of doing an invite, five, four, three, two, one, send the message, walk away. Okay, um, so I want you to send to those 30 people that message, okay? Now, like I said, you can tweak it, but I would suggest just doing it like that. Now, if you have different wording the way that you talk and they would know if you were doing a copy-paste message, like maybe you say like, hey girl, or you know, like I don't know, you and your buddy have like a certain thing together, put that in there, okay? Hey dude, I don't know, okay? Um, the next tip, you guys, I think this is tip number three. Remember that um, you want to post on your social media still, okay? So like I said, I hope all of you guys, I see what, 23 people on here? That's awesome, you guys. But I hope that you're all focused on your health and fitness journey right now during October, November, December. Yes, I get that there's Halloween candy and that we have Thanksgiving coming up and Christmas. You're a health and fitness coach, okay? You're a health and fitness coach and your results are what grow your business, okay? So just because it's the holidays 
doesn't mean that your health and fitness goes on the back burner. You guys, it should still be on the front burner. Okay. When you look at those top coaches who are crushing it, it's because they show up every single day for their own health and fitness journey. Okay. Your journey first and foremost has to come number one. Okay. So make sure that you're sharing your journey every single day, every single day on social media. Okay, through your Instagram stories, through your Instagram posts, through your Facebook posts. I've been watching, a lot of you guys are doing an amazing job. Some of you guys are still holding back and you're like nervous, right? Like you're like, I don't want people to judge me or I don't want people to unfollow me. You guys, I think about it like a bus, okay? So people are on your bus and if they are going to stay on your bus, they're gonna stay on your bus no matter what, no matter what you post, okay? Now there's some people who are not meant to be on your bus, okay? And if you post something that, I don't know, offends them or makes them feel uncomfortable or whatever, they're going to hop off your bus. You'd rather they hop off earlier than later down the road, right? Like that makes sense, right? So you, you want to have the people who are meant to be your lifers on your bus. So don't stress over sharing your journey, okay? If you're sharing it openly and authentically and for the right reasons, the right people are going to stay with you. Okay, so this tip is all about posting every single day. You should be posting your fitness journey every single day in some way. Um, you know, making sure that you're sharing that you're drinking your Shakeology, making sure that you're sharing that you're eating healthy during the holidays and avoiding, you know, Halloween before actual Halloween. Heck yes, you can eat uh, Halloween candy on Halloween. Like it's about balance, you guys. Don't go overboard. Um, but you can share that. But Every single day you're showing up and getting your workouts in, you're sticking to your nutrition, you're sticking to your shakeology, you're checking in with your groups. People are going to gravitate towards that, okay? Also, every single um, week, uh, once a week, you need to be sharing a progress picture, okay? At least once a week of yourself. Oh, did I make a lot of people cringe? Like, no, Meg, don't make me do it. You have to. Okay, you're gonna think you're being annoying, but you're having different eyes come on you at different times, okay? So you wanna make sure that they're seeing your results, okay? So if you had 30 pounds that you lost six months ago, don't think that people are gonna know that, okay? You need to be sharing that very often. If you don't have weight to lose, but you've been toning up, you still need to share that once a week, you guys, because people want to see that progress. They want to see the progress. They want to see that you're staying on your A game, okay? Because they're figuring out if they're, they're kind of judging you to figure out if you're going to be the right health coach for them, okay? So sharing your journey every single day, um, doing a call to action post one to two times per week. Now, if you're one of my personally sponsored coaches, you guys know we've been doing this thing that I got from Rachel Peterson where um, one to two on Thursday and Sunday nights, uh, we do a call to action type post in our in our team group. And we say comment below with your the links to your posts and we'll, we'll comment and like and support on your posts to help it bump into news feeds. Now I wanna to explain to you guys why that's important. And I know a lot of teams are doing that now, which is awesome. Okay, make sure you partake partake in that. Number one, does it holds you accountable to doing your call to actions every single week because there's days where I don't want to either and I'm like, oh gosh, I have to show up and do it, right? Like I have to um, because the team's counting on me, okay? So take part in it. It's going to hold you accountable to doing those invites. They have to happen, you guys. Number two, um, like I said before, it bumps more people into your newsfeed. So if Jamie puts her link in this group and she, you know, we comment and like on it, guess what? The way that Facebook works is they're going to say, oh, Jamie's post is pretty active right now. There's a lot of people commenting and liking, liking on it. We're going to bump it into more people's news feeds. That's better for you guys, you guys. That means more eyes on more stuff, meaning more people will like and comment on it and want information, okay? If you don't play by Facebook's rules, they're not going to get your posts in the news feeds, okay? So play by Okay, um, so make sure you partake in, partake in that. If your team's not doing something like that, grab onto five or 10 coaches on your team and say, hey, I just heard this thing with Meg, we're gonna start a message thread, you know, pick two days out of the week, every single Wednesday and Friday or whatever day you wanna do, we're going to do call to action posts together and we will support each other, okay? You can be that leader, you can start that, okay? Um, the last part of this tip that I want you guys to do, so the first part was, you know, making sure you're sharing your journey, the second is making sure that you're doing the call to action. Um, the third is making sure that you are um, messaging the people who are liking and commenting on your daily posts. Okay, so the ones that are 
liking and commenting on your fitness posts, you guys, message them the same message that we talked about before. The, hey, I just signed up for this because of the results. Okay, don't overthink the message, you guys. People who are meant to work with you, they're gonna work with you regardless of what you say to them, okay? Because they're gonna see the potential and excitement in you, okay? The people who are not meant to be working with you right now or ever, they're gonna say no. Don't sweat it, okay? Don't worry about the wording. Um, so that was the last part of that tip, is making sure that you are inviting the people who are liking and commenting on your posts. A lot of coaches overlook that. You know, they're like, oh, I don't wanna be that person that's like, you know, anytime someone likes on my stuff, I don't wanna be like jumping on them. Don't worry about it, you guys. Don't worry about it. If they're meant to be following you, they will, okay? Two more tips, you guys. Next tip is um, making sure that you are creating FOMO and excitement in your journey, okay? So as you're doing your daily fitness journey, don't just slap up whatever every single day. Think about what would pull you in. Okay, think about what would get you excited. For me, I'd get really excited if someone was showing me results, but they're still having a glass of wine, okay? Or they're still having ice cream once a week. I'd be like, heck yes, sign me up. You know, like I still wanna have my dessert and get results. Think about what pulls you in. Maybe you're someone who gets really excited about like super strict meal plans, okay? So you'd be going the opposite. You would be saying, you know what? I'm committed to the whole 30. Um, that's really strict for however many days, and that would pull people in, okay? So think about what gets you excited, what gets you wrapped up um, for your health and fitness goals, and create the FOMO, you guys. As you're doing your posts, even, you know, this is marketing, okay? You're not lying, it's marketing. As you're doing your posts and you're saying, especially your call to action posts, and saying, you know, I have five spots left, you might not have anyone signed up, okay? But if people hear five spots left, you're not lying to them, you have five spots that you wanna fill, right? I have five spots left, or I have 10 spots left, however many you want to fill, okay? And put that in your post. It's gonna create that FOMO. People are gonna be like, wait a second. Um, a lot of people, and you guys have probably seen people do this on Instagram stories, is they'll create a list on Instagram stories of people's names. So if you have two people who have signed up this month and you wanna help five, you put the first name of those people, you know, you put up Kimberly and Jamie and then have three spots left on an Instagram picture, you know, number one through five and say, you know, I have three spots left, who's it gonna be? That creates FOMO, you guys. People are gonna think, oh my God, I'm missing out. What the heck, okay? So creating FOMO with your posts. Um, and the last part, you guys, and I just wanna wrap it back up to the beginning, is just freaking believe in yourself. You know, I see too much potential on this team, you guys, way too much potential. But then somewhere along the lines, people like talk themselves out of hitting these goals and helping people. You know, we get so caught up in the numbers and comparing ourselves to other coaches when really you need to just focus on where you're going, okay? Keep your head forward, focus on the goals that you have for yourself, whether it be to quit your full-time job or it be to pay off debt or whatever, pay for your honeymoon. Um, keep your head focused, you guys, and say, okay, if Meg can do this, I can do this, okay? I'm living proof that if you just commit to helping three or more people every single month, you guys, it can really turn into something big. And if you're not focusing on that, you're missing a huge, huge area of this business, you guys, huge area. Now I wanna speak to the people who have maybe like missed a couple months of Success Club, okay? So these are people, because I see some other um, faces on here that have maybe been coaches for a while. Draw a line in the sand, okay? It's October 15th, okay? And if you're sitting there and you're at SC0 and you're like, here goes another month without hitting it, Stop saying that. Stop saying that to yourself because you're just, you're defeating yourself before the, the um, month is even over. Like we have another 16 days left in the month. That a lot can happen in 16 months. I remember watching a coach go from zero to 10 in one day, you guys. And it was a coach who had never hit success club before. Okay. So not because they were perfect and special and amazing, but because they committed to it. Okay. So if you haven't hit it, draw a line in the sand and say, you know what? I'm serious about growing this business. I'm serious about helping people. I know that I deserve this, okay? Now, call to action, you guys. I see people who are not my personally sponsored coaches. So make sure you send this to your coach, okay? Make sure you send it to your personally sponsored upline, okay, so the person you signed up under. I want you to create that list of 30, okay? Create it by tonight, okay? And screenshot it and send it to your coach. That means if I'm your coach, 
I better have a lot of text messages when I wake up tomorrow morning because I see your faces, okay? Just get it done, you guys, because that's the hardest part aside from just sending out the messages, okay? And just know that once you, like, the only thing that we have control over, you guys, is action, okay? We have no control over who says yes and who says no. We have control over our action and our hustle, okay? So you better be focused on controlling your action and your hustle in order to get your results, okay? Yes? So let me see if I have any questions in here, guys. I don't see any questions. Hopefully I just did such a good job that you guys are like, good, I'm good to go. <laughs> see, I took my faces. I see a lot of new coaches, yay, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna put this recording in the um, new and improved important team to the addictive group once it's uploaded. But if you guys have questions that you didn't put up in here and you feel embarrassed to ask, shoot me a Facebook message. I'm always here. Um, I will probably turn off my phone tonight because I'm pretty tired. But get your screenshots done, you guys. Get it done. Get it sent to me or your upline coach. Just do it, you guys, because there's no reason why you can't do it other than why you're telling yourself that you can't, okay?